Right, I've just passed through a gate there, past the farm. No Labrador today. Hill Farm. Lovely avenue of, of um, trees I did a photo of. Now I'm going down this lovely lane. I've got a good hour and a half. I've got a good hour and a half to get my bus, to go and get my newspaper and Prosecco for this evening. Now look at that over there. Through the fields there's um, Banwell Wood. Banwell Wood there, look. I made out the tower earlier. And I would have done a type of circle, a bit extra though on the way back. Did a bit extra, because I went up by the side of the church and straight across that way and then up. Then across and then all the way around. It's, almost, it's like a figure of eight. With the bottom half a bigger figure of eight, if you know what I mean. But you know what? Do you know what? Walking here, like this, and there's some this beautiful sunshine in this old lane that has been here for hundreds and hundreds of years feeling that warmth on you and in front of me I can see a hill for you know this is to me this is like bliss surrounded by fields of buttercups lovely lovely gentle grasses I just I just feel this has been a really really good walk and uh Yeah, a really good walk with this Ben. I mean, look at that. I came down off the top there a minute ago. A lot of people are going down, passing, going down to the car park down the bottom at Kingswood. But this is, you know, I can't get it. Look at it, look at that field. You could just go in that field, see those swallows? And lie down and feel absolutely at peace in that field. Do you know what I mean? That field is an English field. The swallows or swifts, whatever they are, they're dancing and flying about in the sky. They're happy as larks. They might even be larks, I don't know. They look sort of like a swift or a swallow or a house martin. I think they're little swallows. But what bliss, what bliss I'm having. I had a, a lovely, gentle walk. No pressure. No pressure. Nothing. I've got time. I've got time to get back to Winscombe to get a bus, to get some a newspaper, and to get back to watch some sort of football that might be on. God, look at that. What a lovely view of the hill fort from here. I'm in this lane and then look up. I'm going to take a picture. I'll be back on in a minute. Back on. I mean, there's a, that breeze. I mean, when you're, it can be nippy. It was a little bit nippy when I was right on the top back there a minute ago. But it's actually refreshing. I'm not overheating at all. I haven't had to like drink gallons of water or anything. You know? I notice everything looks greener, fresher and healthier and the leaves aren't falling off the trees here so it's cleaner air. We get a lot of smog. From all... Well you've got the motorway not far away. Here we've got Winscombe Village. Well it's more of a town now really isn't it? So breathtaking back there. There was a little heat trap, and the, and the wind was just gently blowing the grasses and the buttercups. And then I saw the beautiful view of the, the Iron Age plateaued hill fort. And it was just this is what I come out for. This is what keeps me sane when I come on these walks. Believe me, 
I still like a little glass of wine, but I don't, I, I'd never poison myself like I did in the past. I don't think I'd ever do that again. But you don't know, you have to learn the hard way. It's true. I mean, there are some very sane people who actually don't touch it. You know, um... But I'm not regretting touching it, because it introduced me to all sorts of people, drink and fags. The old pub, the smoky atmospheres, the music. You know, when they took all that away once, when they wanted to turn pubs into eating houses only, mainly, they took away the jukebox. You had to have m landscaped music playing. You know, then they took, eventually they took away smoking. Now, I agree with that. I do agree, but... And I, I shouldn't look fondly back at those days of pollution. That's what they were. But I met some interesting people. We had some fantastic discussions. Um, I'm not saying you won't have them. People who aren't used to any of that will have them, still have those discussions. They'll have it without the pollution. We are very capable of adapting. But that's how I grew up. That was my introduction. And so I, you know, so I say I'm glad I had it. But in a way, I wish, like the young people now, some of them, they don't have that. But an awful lot of them turn to drugs, which we never really did. Not really. It wasn't, there wasn't, there are always some who did, right? There's always going to be those that did. Now I've got to remember how I get in this field now. I can't really remember. Because it's so long ago, I can't remember if I go left or right. But I don't want to walk all the way down there. But I've just got to look to see if there's a indentation somewhere, and it could be just here. So anyway, we've left. This is a sun trap here. If you go up there, that takes you past the farm where I was talking to the farmer this morning and the drove that took me on the low side path. Then I had to climb up steep. If you go that way, it'll take you down to the strawberry line. It'll take you to Kingswood. But you do have to go on a bit of a dangerous road as well once you get down the bottom there. Or you go this way. Once again, across a field. Across a field, down through the wood and past the church. I've got, I haven't, I'm, I wanted to do some family tree work, so I've still got the row barrow hill fort stuff to do. So there's all that to come, and there'll be, this will be quite a big day's out. This will be a big day out as well. I just got to take some photos before I um, I join up again in a minute. A series of short videos. This is really I'm joining because I'm trying to do photos as well. Um, so I've got to join them all together. So basically, I'm walking across this lovely field now, and I'm going to go down through a small wood that extends all the way along there, and I walk partially through it this morning. Now I think if I go that way again. I'm going to carry on, not go in the field if the cows are in there, but carry on to the sheep field and get in that way. I also want to explore the lower track that takes you right round the other side of Crook's Peak so you don't go up the peak. That is another way of walking to, back to Loxton. Um, there's lots to explore. But I do need breaks, I've noticed. Mind you, when I go on my four-day, five-day hiking trips, I, um, I get very fit, actually. I get very fit and I lose a bit of weight. And But by, when I get home, it takes me several weeks to recover. Now, when I do family tree trips, there might be some hiking, but it's mainly... Um, Oh, there's people coming. Hold on, just put it on hold. Right, so I'm now entering the wood and I'm greeted by these beautiful flowers. See them? Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? This is where I need the other camera to take the pictures as I go. Look. 
Look at that. What a lovely scene that is. To be greeted by them. And you, stinging nettles. You've got your place. I'm just going to check the time. Wait a minute. It's been a brilliant day, actually. This, this is one of my better days. All, all my walks are great. But this one said, um, it's three o'clock. We've got an hour and ten minutes. What it is, some walks do can be stressful if I've got to uh, renegotiate a route because there's a big herd of cows or it starts raining or something happens. Um, but today there's been no, so far, put it that way, no hindrances, no... I mean, sometimes the, your walk, you can have a brilliant walk and then the bus can be late for up to an hour. And that can uh, throw you a bit. And I just realised it's an hour less, you see, on a Saturday. I can't believe it, that Saturday they cut it by an hour. You know, imagine all the people that come down on holiday and want to go to Wells Cathedral or something. Now I'm expecting the bus at four o'clock to be packed. That bus at the moment, that bus at the moment will be just arriving at Cheddar, the one that, not the one I want, one I want, hasn't even left Wells yet. Um, so, we've got time to not rush enjoy we've got a good solid hour I've got to remember to allow 10 minutes to get the newspaper and Prosecco I've got a small I only drink very small bottles very miniatures not miniature miniature like whiskey but the wine bottles are little tiny ones about four or five inches high they feel like a, a decent sized wine glass but I make it last and that's all I need and then I go on the tea and the cocoa. <sighs> Not like people who knew me in the past would think, my like, God, you know, you know, you should drink like you could drink a pub out, you know. That's again, what's again, my early life, my younger life was everything surrounded was dominated by alcohol. I mean, I don't know whether it is exactly. It seems like young people are still doing all that. Um, but the pubs have different aren't they and it's much more expensive I mean when I was a student you know they, you could get you know half a lager or a tartan beer for licks and nothing you know um, anyway what we're doing we're going downhill towards St James Church at Winscombe which was closed this morning. I mean, they might have opened it up after I went. Uh, it might have been a bit early. I was over here early. I got a good start. And in a minute, we'll join up with the path, which I passed on the way past um, the church on my circular figure eight walk, if you like. Figure eight, really, in a type of way. Um... And people who follow me will think, oh, should you just ramble on like you always do? Well, I know I do. But it's a different day. June the 11th, 2021, and it's a warm day. Church is just coming into view through there. And I can already see the little path that I used this morning. Now, there are various little diversions on that path I want to try out another time. Some people I might bump into in a minute have come back that way. Some people might see it as a quicker route than the one. I deliberately did this route now. I can hear people, so there were people who might have gone down the hill and done it in reverse. So here we are, folks, up the style. Church is just there. I've got to get over a little stile down there in a minute. And I'm going to have a nice drink of water and a crispy biscuit. 
an oat biscuit any minute now. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at that scene through there. Isn't it gorgeous? And of course the church. The church is just... I'll just walk over here a bit before I get my stick. There's the church, look. I don't think I've ever stood in this place to take a picture of it before. There we are. I'm going to t turn off now and take some photos. Over and out.